Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, May 29th. Skipped yesterday. I'd hoped to get off early, because on Tuesdays the movie theater does like $5 movies, and there's a few movies really that I'd kind of like to see, one I really want to see. But no, full day at work, so all I really did was come home and, uh, you know, edit and whatever, go through the uh, spreadsheet work. I got things in for the board game, card game, and other game section. That section is huge, this auction. Like, double what we had last time. Uh, <laughs> so much more. So, wow, that'll take a long time on Sunday. Um, anyways, uh, I did get off work early today. So I picked up some donuts, which looks just delicious. Um, <laughs> so I'll have that to eat. And then um, I'll continue working on the uh, spreadsheets a bit. Maybe some editing. I don't really know, but yeah, my time is my own today. All right, and many hours later, um, I have finished a spreadsheet. So uh, basically, today was finishing, you know, finishing up the board games and then going through the miniature stuff. And have everything in um, but it's it's basically you know I'd, I'd already gotten all the lot numbers in so it's going through um, putting X's where I'm just plain not interested in something up to what I'm willing to bid on certain things you know and obviously as I go you know if I get certain things um, you know, I might not be willing to get others later on, because I've basically already gotten them. Um, with miniatures, there's kind of a lot of vagueness, but of course when we get to like RPGs, there's a lot more description, um, you know, and as to what things are. Um, I have a lot of lots in RPGs that I'm maybe not willing to go as far up on, but willing to do something more than just whatever small amount. Basically, when I leave it blank, it means, I mean, I don't have, like, a set amount, but it's going to be a few dollars. Um, and it's not that I never go over the amount I put in my max bid. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. So, like, with, mini or with RPGs, I have so much more stuff just described. Lots of stuff interested in, and, and here's where you see... Uh, you know, lots of points. If didn't get them, if didn't get them, if didn't get, yeah. And then with board games, you get a lot more just X's. Because um, there's just a lot of things I'm not as interested in. Um, you can kind of see how much there is. So, that's, uh, that's a lot. But yeah, it took hours. I'm just listening to music while I go, so not like I was rushing my way through it or anything. I actually have a lot higher value as like what I'm willing to spend in miniatures this time around than RPG. Now, there are many more lots in RPGs that I'm uh, more interested in, but there's just a couple, a couple of them X-Wing lots are uh, I'm like, yeah, I might, I might go up there. I might, I might go a hundred or so. <laughs> uh, Cause they're worth much more than it. <laughs> So, and one of them is like right near the beginning of the first day, like that'll put me in a panic. If I spend, say, if, if, if I get it, but it's right near the top of my bid, bid if I spend like $200 right at the start, <laughs> I'd be like, okay, guess I should forget plans of what to do with the money after the auction that I have left, because, uh... <laughs> but, again... I'm like thinking I might spend a couple hundred dollars on a lot that I look at and I'm like, that is worth at least six hundred dollars. <laughs> um, yeah, so finished up 
making the spreadsheets. And then edited half a vlog. But I'm having to do it in two parts, so that has to export now. I'm trying to figure out dinner, and I'm like, brains out to me. Just go, go pick something up. Just, just go get something. It'll be easy. And I'm like, yeah, brain, it will be easy. I should do that. Then, then my wallet comes in and says, no, Adam. Maybe you have food at home. Quit draining me. I'm like, fine. No, nope, no food here. Have to go get something. It's all empty. I was thinking of ignoring my wallet and just going and getting something to eat anyways. But uh, it's all rainy out and I don't want to go out in the rain. So fine, I'll actually cook something. <laughs> it's what I should do. Still don't wanna. Sure, without going out at all to even get more groceries, my options are basically pancakes or mac and cheese. I'm going with macaroni and cheese. And it's actually been a while since I've had mac and cheese because the last time I had it, it was bad. Like, I had to throw most of it away. Now I have a few theories on that. Uh, it's possible that there was something wrong with the water uh, that I boiled the pasta in. Um, I always heat up that water in my uh, kettle, and I don't wash the kettle. Sounds weird. Uh, I instead boil water in it to kill off whatever is could possibly want to be there. Um, however, if I don't do so for long enough, it, it can be bad um, if I don't properly then clean it before actually boiling water in it to use. So, um, it's possible that's the issue, was the issue. And I've used it for tea several times since then and it's, it's been fine. And it's also possible that it was the milk. Um, the milk that I used the last time I made it, um, I used one other time, as, maybe like a week later, and it was bad. And it was just before it was supposed to go bad, so it went bad early. But then thinking back, I'm like, well, I didn't use that milk for anything else during that time. Maybe the milk had actually was just bad when I got it. I don't know. Well, I had milk today when I had donuts. So, I know the milk's not an issue. So, I'm hoping that it tastes good today. But I was a bit put off from it last time because it was bad. I think it's fine. But my, you know, it's the kind of thing when you had something bad, your brain is screaming at you, No, don't try it. It's going to be terrible again. I think it's fine. All right, everything's uploaded and such. Talk to mom a little bit. Tell her, you know, told her if it weren't for the, the weather, which has been causing issues with her yard, apparently. I was like, I was thinking of trying to head over so that I could leave the house, which would mean I'd be able to bleach the drains. I need to do that relatively soon. I also need to bring her this. She got this for me and um, it has like a smell to it and so I put in baking soda. The thing is, like the idea with the baking soda <laughs> is that it'll like draw out the moisture. Well I put a box in there and it got so saturated with moisture that like the ink from the bottom was coming off onto the container. And it still, still smelled. That's the second box in there, and it's uh, I now have a paper towel under it, so I don't have to worry about the ink coming off. But it's doing the same thing. Like, this container has so much moisture in it. She thinks her uh, dishwasher might be able to use, like, a dry setting and 
managed to pull moisture out with basically by heating it. So I'm like, I need to get that to her. Uh, I also need to go over there before this weekend because I'm going to need to bring over the uh, spreadsheet so I can print it out so I have it for the option. But again, we had storms and flood warnings and all of that, so didn't get any of that done. Um, I'd forgotten when I went to Aldi West to get the um, dishwasher packs, but I did some digging and found <coughs> that I have a couple um, whatever, Cascade packs that were like samples um, from some point. So uh, I will use those and get dishes going. Um, and beyond that, I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm still hungry. And originally I was thinking, well, maybe I'll, I'll make pancakes as well. But it's uh, like 9 o'clock. So it's getting late. And I'm like, it's a little too late. I'm just going to make myself some uh, toaster tarts and call it an evening. So, again, uh, thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.